I was on the internet browsing Fujifilm content and then this happened. I was on one of the Facebook groups and a guy he came in there and he asked a question. He said, hey, I just got myself a Fujifilm X-T4 and I'm looking at my images and they just don't feel sharp to me. Like, is there something wrong with my camera? Am I doing something wrong? Can, can you please help me? And that is when the internet hyenas just ripped into him. You know, you know what photography forums are like, right? So these guys just coming in hordes. I don't know, maybe they're just lurking at their computers waiting for like a newbie to come around and they're like, it's your fault. It's not the tools, it's the photographer. You're a bad photographer. You need to learn photography first. You know, foaming at the mouth, you know, fuming out of their ears. And this guy's like, whoa, Jesus, guys, chill. I'm just asking a question. And that's right. Because what he is asking is not as nonsensical as it might first seem. Because yes, there might be something wrong with his camera. And I'm going to show you a setting that you might want to check out. And after I show you this setting, I want to ask you like a very genuine question about sharpness. So there can be something wrong with the camera. So if you go into the menu system and you go all the way to the IQ, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and then you will come across this setting called sharpness. And then you will see that you can actually change this setting all the way from plus four to minus a four. And I just tend to leave it at zero. So why is this setting even there? This is because your digital camera is a sensor and a processor. So when you capture the image, a chip is going to process the data that's coming in. And if you're going to be shooting JPEGs or something like that, you can add or reduce sharpness from that. So your processor is generating an image and it's asking you, hey man or girl, like how sharp do you want this thing to be? <laughs> and to me, honestly, you don't want it to be too sharp. So I think a lot of people need to hear this this whole fixation on your photos needing to be ultra sharp. This is an echo from the past. This is from a time, you know, when cameras and lenses were just not really all that good yet, at least not the affordable ones. So cameras within the affordable range for most consumers, they would simply not be sharp. So when you then finally got to have a good lens, which was quite often very expensive, it would be significantly sharper than what most people had and this would be like a badge of honor this would be the mark of a good tool but this is no longer the case guys it's 2022 most lenses that we have most cameras even cameras and phones are amazing they are plenty sharp they are even too sharp now that's the problem we have in the past people would have images that were too soft and were trying to find technical ways to make them sharper these days we're looking at technical ways to make them not too sharp because when it's too sharp you get this awful digital highly processed look now if you are a photographer that agrees with me that knows what i mean please give this video a like and a comment so other people get to see and hear this as well in general photos are just too sharp now why do i leave this setting at zero this is because i usually shoot raw and this is not a flex, but this is because I like to process my photos. This is again is one of these things, you know, there was always processing, always. The way you would process a photo would be by choosing your film, for example, and then matching that with a lens. And that would be a way of processing. These days, we just get raw data. And then we also need to process that to get a certain look. And if you look at masters, like really, really good craftsmen, like Roman Fox, go out, go on Instagram. Uh, check out Roman Fox. He also has a YouTube channel. Check out this guy. He he is just an amazing street photographer. And when you look at his images, they have this velvety, soft, tasteful feel to them. And they are just not super sharp. And that's the same with many good photographers. If you're going to take somebody's or take a portrait, like shoot a... I'm, I'm not... A, English is not my first language. When you shoot a portrait... You don't want all of this portrait to be super sharp. That's the other thing. Like we're always chasing this soft background depth of field. But then when you shoot an image, of course, you want it to be sharp enough, but not horribly digitally sharp. So you can still decide which parts of the image you're going to enhance. For example, maybe the eyes or some other tiny details that you want to draw focus to. So I'm, I'm going on a bit of a rant here, but what I'm trying to say is one, yes, there are settings in your camera, whether that's a Fujifilm X-T4 or X-T3 or any other brand, 
where you can determine how sharp your camera is going to process your images. If this guy got a secondhand Fuji and the previous owner set it to minus four, yes, his camera would look too soft, probably. Then the second point that I wanted to make is, guys, please don't worry about sharpness. Your images are plenty sharp and you don't want them to be too sharp. So that's it for me. That's rant over. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.